Now let's go a little further and talk about other components that we are going to find in the source zona. I'm going to clean the tablet. And we are also going to talk about other components that are part of the source zone that are always close to the rectifier and the filter. Excellent. We continue. So moving forward, we are going to clean up. Perfect, very good. Very good now, yes, perfect. We are missing something here, we have not yet arrived, but now we are going to talk about what we found after the rectifier and the filter. What are we going to find in this area? Good. In many plates you will find here with a component called 7805. So, you will find this as follows. You will find the component here and it has its number clearly marked, 7805. It receives a voltage and direct current and what the component does is allow an output with a constant voltage of five volts. This 05 is indicating that the output voltage is five. It can also be found, 7818 and 7812 to take into account that they can also be found with different values. But their function is the same, to produce a regulated voltage output, precisely its name of voltage regulator. Let's remember something. We are entering here with 220 volts in alternating current. We are going through a fuse and a varistor that does not change in electricity only going to protect against high voltage. We are going to go through other components that we are going to talk about in a while that do not modify electricity either, but this transformer will modify it. Of the 220 alternating current that we are receiving, I use 220 as an example, but it can also be 110 or 127. After the transformer, get 12 volts in alternating current. We are going to go through the rectifier and the filter. Remember that here what we are going to obtain. It is not a voltage of 12 volts. We are actually going to have a higher voltage. Due to the fact that we are now going to have the peak voltage. Remember, if we do 12 times 1.41, we are going to receive almost 17 volts. At this point then we are going to have 17 volts, but in direct current. With these 17, positive pole and negative pole, we are going to enter the 7805, whose left terminal is positive input. The one in the middle is negative and the right is positive output. And we are going to leave with five volts. Finally, they will also find a small filter capacitor to maintain these five volts so that when required, it does not drop. They will also find that capacitor. Here, at this point, we are finishing with the source zone. So here we can name all this as a source, and we are going to add one more detail. Conventional source, because later we are going to move on to a more complex one. Well, how does this device work? 7805. In the case of this component, 7805, which is what you are seeing here, the brand can be different, it doesn't matter, what is important is the central patent. What this component needs to receive a voltage.
A moment. I am going to write you here so that you can. Be clear about it. He needs to receive a voltage of between 7 to 37 volts. Whenever he receives this voltage, can produce an output of 5. These are characteristic of the component in this sample circuit. We are getting 17. It is within the range that the component needs to deliver a constant 5 volts. If we have a 7812, at the input it has to be greater, the input has to be from 18 to 50 volts. In this case, the component can deliver 12 volts. Regulated. These they are data of the component. In our circuit, this 7805 is receiving 17 continuously. Correct to be able to produce 5. I am going to show them with a board. For example, in this case, here we have a bridge rectifier, of which two diodes are no longer there. Here we have a filter capacitor. And here we have then the 7805, and we see it clearly 7805. And after the output, here we have the last capacitor. So, these components are the final ones in the source zone. The voltage regulators can be 7805. Or also, they can be found with 7812. And at this very moment, I am going to show you an image of plates that 7812 have. If you give me a moment, I will show them to you so that you can recognize them when I touch them. Pay attention, this board has the 7812 and 7805. It has both. On the one hand, it is getting 12 regulated volts. And from it, it will feed the 7805 and get 5 regulated. These are older plates of better quality, with more protections. Finer their way of working had more components today, they try to get components to that everything is cheaper as everything is true. This is the plate that we were looking at, a fairly old plate, and here it is 7812 and 7812. Very well, so this is the component that you are going to have at the end of the source. How it is controlled? Well, this component is controlled by energizing it. If I wanted to control it and see that it works well, what I would have to do is make the board work. Check between the middle and the left side, which is the input. And if I get between 7 and 30 and 7 in direct current, between the center and the output, I have to have 5 volts constantly. If the board still does not work even if we have 5, try or check the capacitor. It may also be that it is. Devalued worn out burst exploded. And that because of it the 5 volts are not constant. Remember that. Remember that many circuits are powered from these 5 volts, not only the microprocessor, the sensors, fan rotation sensors, and several more circuits. Well, this is what it has to do with the 7805. Later on, we are going to do a test with this sample board and we are going to be powering and controlling the inputs and outputs. So let take a good look at how it works. In operation precisely with voltage. But we cannot measure this component. Without voltage, the way to measure and control is by feeding it because it is a circuit within it. It is not just a component. So far we have talked about voltage regulator. 